Hello everybody, it's that time of month again where I'm going to get ready to list my stuff on eBay and we're going to do a preview, so let's take a look at what we've got. First I'll do a quick run by from left to right and it's a bunch of planes. Still planes all the way down to some various uh, auger bits and push drill bits and the stuff in the back the saw sitting there let's take a look at them one at a time so working pretty much from the big ones to the little ones we're going to start with the bedrock 607 the Stanley A5 Isn't that one a sweetheart? An HT Company number no. 5 size plane. I was unable to find any information on the internet about this plane. A Stanley War Production 5 and a quarter. A real beauty with original Japanning. A Stanley Four Square. Same size as the uh, five and a quarter. This beautiful plane was a complete restoration. Uh, somebody took a grinder to all the flat metal parts including the iron and the iron cap. A Miller's Falls number nine. I like the old Miller's Falls with the two-part uh, lever cap. They make very good user planes. An Edgewood Tool Company number four size plane. This is another one where my internet search produced nothing on Edgewood Tool Company. This plane is corrugated and it's all original except I re refinished the wood. A beautiful old Stanley number four. Uh, this one I did some weld touch-ups to the back corner of the, the body right there. Both sides are chipped away. The Japaning is original except for the very back of the body where I touched it up because I, I did the welding. Make a great user. The old oxymoron plane, Stanley Handyman. This is a number four size plane in really nice original condition. I did a video on this one I think because I got shavings that were thinner than the human hair. A beautiful example of the Stanley 24 transitional plane. This plane uh, retained nearly 100% of its Japaning and uh, original finishes. A truly rare find, the Stanley number 22 Type 1. There are collectors that would just love to get their hands on this. I did a separate video on the cleanup of this beauty. A beautiful Bedrock 604. I believe this is the plane I did a video on on how to uh, refinish the base and the frog. Ooh, ooh, I want one of these. This is a uh, Stanley number three sweetheart with a box. They just don't get any sweeter than this. Stanley number 18 block plane happens to be one of my favorite users. This one's not perfect, but she's pretty and will make a good user. A Stanley nine and a half block plane. Another one that'll make an excellent user. This old plane was a lot of fun. I did a video on it. It's the uh, custom Stanley 10, I'm sorry, Stanley 110. Custom because its younger sister sitting next to it shows you what they should look like. That one also is going on eBay. A fairly uncommon Stanley 4 square block plane in uh, 
very nice original condition. I've got a four square uh, smooth plane coming up soon. Just a flat out nice Stanley number 444 dovetail tongue and groove plane. I did a video on this one and uh, had some fun with it. Don't plan on keeping it long, it's going on eBay. A newer Stanley ADM cabinet scraper. There is an iron in it and it has the correct marking. Somebody used this, the iron is short. A nice looking Stanley number 71 router plane on a custom plaque. This can be hung or set up any way that whoever buys it wants to do it. I did a separate video on how to use this old beauty and I took the board in and showed it to my wife and she says oh you gotta make something special. So this is what I ended up doing. It had to be made to her specs. That uh, label is an original, it's a copy of an original label off of a 71 box. I just blew it up to a bigger size and applied it to that base. There are holes in the top for the storage of the three irons that are supposed to come with the 71. This one only has one iron and it's missing its uh, fence. This was my first 71 base that I made and the boss did not approve of it. So I'm going to sell this if anybody just wants to put their 71 on it. It also has three holes for storage of the irons. A Firestone Supreme number four size plane. Original Japanning. It is definitely a showy plane. I don't know the story behind them I imagine you bought a set of tires and uh, they gave away a plane. And another Firestone Supreme. This one would be the number five size. Just like the number four, this one's a very showy plane. They make a great looking pair for display. And I imagine they'd make a good user. The Stanley number 49 tongue and groove plane. I did a video on this one where we did some tongue and groove. It's a good looking plane. The only issue is is that the irons are most likely replacements and one of them is narrow. But it worked just fine as you can see from the video on doing the tongue and groove. And here's one you don't see every day. Does anybody know what this is? It's the Stanley number 7 metallic level pitch adjuster. This attaches to the Stanley metal levels and it's got a, a uh, scale that you can use to set the measurements and adjust the pitch of your level. It's a uh, book price is a bit salty. And these are the Yankee ratcheting screwdrivers. I bought these years ago They've been up on my uh, little plastic thing on the pegboard thinking that they'd be handy. And uh, I looked at them the other day. I've never used them. I imagine in the right circumstances uh, they would be handy. I just haven't got there yet. So they're going on eBay. So other than the uh, random bits that I've got left, which I'm not going to break out one by one, but there are some interesting old hand router bits right there and a set of the push drill bits not a, it's not a complete set but they're various sizes the last thing I've got is the Toolmate by Diston and it's got the MK Porter Company Incorporated it says it's a Henry Diston division never saw one of these before I've seen those handles though and they're called Distonite. It's a type of plastic that Diston used. And it is kind of pretty if you're in the plastic. That one held up pretty well. I don't know how old this saw is. 
it is in very good shape it has been used because it's not as sharp as what it should be but it does cut I tested it out the uh, saw plate is dead on straight and I went on the internet and I typed in all those words in combination different ways and I came up blank which that's to me kind of unusual for a distant saw so not knowing what this is or the story behind it I'm gonna to have to put a salty price on it for eBay and hopefully some smart eBayer will see it and and know what it is and be able to tell me that uh, hey dummy it's not worth what you're asking for it but hopefully he'll back that up with some facts and then I'll give him a good price so that's it that's what a month's worth of uh, work out here in the shop does it gets me a few tools a few videos and now all I gotta do is tag all of these and start taking pictures I hope you enjoyed my April listings preview it's time to get to work, and I'm looking forward to see what the next month is going to bring. Guess what? Time for supper. Bye.